Hello, in this video we are going to talk about the text tool in the graphic editor. So there are two kinds of text. There is the text over here and the multi-line text over here. So we're going to put both on the canvas and see what's happening. So the text tool is a single line of text, whereas the multi-line text, as you guessed it, is on multi-line. So here in this case the font size is a bit too much so I'm going to reduce it to let's say something like 12 and let's go to 15 like that so by default this is uh, lorem ipsum you know like uh, something you use to fill some kind of area so the difference between those two are slight but there are some so as you can see on the property bar at the bottom of the screen I have the color of the text, so I can change the color of my text. I can change the color of the background. Note that I can't put some round corners on, on top of that. If I want to simulate some kind of button, what I'm going to do is take a vector shape, put it on top, then I'm going to move it backward, I'm going to add some corner radius like that. I'm going to set a stroke fill then I'm going to select my text I'm going to remove the background I'm going to change the color to white and here I have some kind of button I can change also the auto sizer here resizer for on or off when it's on I can scale the text up or down and I as you can see the font size at the bottom of the screen is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's pretty handy when you're doing some title stuff like that. You can also, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna duplicate it. <clears throat> I'm gonna move it here, I'm gonna change the color, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna put auto resizer on off, I'm gonna change the size font to 80. And I can choose between around, it's, it's more than 200 different kind of fonts. So that's, you, you really have the choice here. So you can really use any kind of font you want. Um, all those fonts here are the fonts that you'll find inside iOS 7 and iOS 8 in the future. So basically it's uh, font proof. If you use that font, it means that your developer, the designers will be able to use the font for zero cost. You don't have a single line of code to, to add. They don't have to, include the font or something like that so i strongly encourage you to use the font that are here and not to go somewhere else and find some fancy font that you may not be able to introduce after that and it's maybe you know a bit harder you can also change the alignment over here center and this is this uh it's a cool feature it's the letter case so you can put all the all the letters in uppercase lowercase and capitalized so capitalized if i zoom in here on the one word doesn't mean something but if i am on this text as you can see all the words got their first letter capitalized and that's that's pretty much it um i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching